all right guys welcome back today i'm going to be using someone who i've never actually used before like in pvp not even on jp i've never used this unit for actually anything ever so this is going to be a first uh oh it's a reset interesting okay so uh yeah who i'm going to be using today is the green big dian now she is a very uh interesting unit she's an all-out dps like just full on you know all her skills are just attack skills the second one does actually cancel stances, so if you pair her up with someone like Gotha, you can easily deal with units like Esther Rosa, who can, uh, you know, really start to annoy you and stuff. But what I want to use her in today is a pierce rate team to dominate other pierce rate teams. Now, you know, you could just have your green Escanor, but with this Dian, we're doing AoE damage, right? And pierce rate always has two out of the three units blue. We'll be able to uh, we'll be able to destroy other pierce rate teams now. You know, sure, mono red, blah blah blah. We'll struggle against mono red, but you know who doesn't? I mean, we won't struggle too much. It's just Deanne herself will struggle against mono red. We're gonna use some attack food. We do want to get the most out of her attack AOEs. Now, of course, Gotha can you know shut her up because she doesn't have any kind of uh, protection, and her unique isn't the greatest thing in the world either. But uh, yeah, very very interested to try out this Deanne. Let's see how we do. All right, first game up, we have Pierce Rate Team. Very nice, very nice. Oh, another CC Food Abuser. Interesting. Interesting. All right, we get a really nice start here. Some uh, some good AOE skills. I wonder how much damage we can do. It's going to be uh, interesting to see. Of course, he's going to have the upper edge. Or the upper edge? The uh, the edge on what, like when it comes to single target damage. Because he does have green Escanor but we have AOE damage so that's going to benefit us a bit more I think also I did forget to mention because she's a big Dian she of course has the strongest ultimate in the game so that's a that's a bit of a bonus there he actually wants to go for my Dian very interesting I I think he's really scared of the ultimate I think he's uh yeah I think he's pretty scared he probably has red king though right I'm pretty sure he has red king let's see yeah, Red King, of course. Oh, I did forget to say her unique. If she has a debuff, she'll increase all allies' defense-related stats by 10% per debuff, which is decent, I guess. You know, a bit more defense. Ooh, yo. Yo. Yo, she puts in the work, my guy. Wow. Because, obviously, her skills are not based off pace rate, so she doesn't get that badly debuffed by, you know, uh, Red King. My god, that was uh, that was really, really good. That was insanely good. Alright, so he puts up another. I don't think, I legit don't think I want to uh, cleanse that. I think I want to keep that because now my other units, they are getting a 20% uh, defense related stat increase. I think I'm actually going to gonna keep that. We'll heal up. We'll do this. And then we'll do that. We get Meliodas ultimate. We'll heal up a bit of health nice heal there and uh, yeah man we're in a good spot right now we're in a good spot we can reduce gauge hopefully some more aoe's where we have really good momentum right now hopefully uh, we get one more that's uh, good enough to get our ultimate i guess gold now oh, he's gonna reduce my gauge i'm pretty sure pretty sure that's to uh, reduce my gauge he's still going for the end he really wants it dead he wants her dead so bad. <laughs> alright, man. Alright, alright. Alright, buddy. Can we get another AoE, man? Yes. Alright, I think uh, Dian has uh, completed what I would have liked her to do. Boom. Actually, maybe not that skill. The other skill hits harder. But yeah, we're going to take care of the two blues. And now Escanor is just left on his own to do whatever, I guess. Yeah, this is a GG. <clears throat> this is indeed GG. I don't see what you could do for a comeback at this point. Not when my Red King comes out and then we can just easily deal with his Escanor. He's going to go for my Meliodas. And then if he kills Dian, we're going to merge Lilia cards, which is uh, good. Nice 6-6 six, six Escanor you have there. And we merge... At this point, if I can just get another heal and rush my ultimate, which I don't get, okay. I guess we can just double debuff. 
uh, the, 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 I think that's the best play to do right now, just double debuff. Get that explosion damage in two turns. Now, where's my heal card, man? Alright, there it is. We're going to get Lilia ultimate. And the Eskinor can do nothing about it, I'm afraid. Actually, he might be able to do something about it. Or we can just kill him. Just, just flat out kill the Eskinor, maybe? Yeah, yeah, yeah. I think we'll just kill the Eskinor. Level 3. And then King to uh, finish off that little bit of whatever Eskinor has. Yeah, GG. So, man, I don't know, man. She, uh, I was really impressed uh, with Deanne there. Imagine he didn't have Red King. Oh, we would have smashed him. So, yeah. And uh, her unique, it's not the, you know, it's not the greatest unique in the world, but it's, it's definitely not bad. That's the that's the good thing, I guess. It's not, it's not a bad unique whatsoever. So, uh, I think we'll just, um... We'll just attack her. Oh, never mind. He quits anyway. So, yeah, man. Really impressed with her. Very happy with Deanne. Let's see the total damage. She did less than Meliodas? Really? Kind of felt like she did more. I don't know. Maybe uh, maybe I was bugging. But, yeah. That's the first game. Very good performance from Deanne. Let's go to the next one. All right, my dudes. Next game up, we have another Pierce Rate team. That might be HP food. I mean, well, I don't know why I'm saying it might be. We can just... Uh, straight up check if he has uh, any food that's not CC food and he goes straight for Eskinor like, do doesn't even think twice <laughs> the game starts he's like yeah nah screw that she she hold up damn bro calm calm down give me a chance is this gonna be one of them games where Eskinor just uh, goes crazy <clears throat> Alright, so he's using CC food and Hauser. Okay. Oh, he's using Hauser? Bro, you about to get smashed. He's using Hauser. He is about to get smashed. That's why you should check uh, check their stats at the start of the game. See what they're running. Damn. Powerful, man. Very, very powerful. Wow, mm, maybe he's just one of them guys who doesn't have Red King. Feels bad, but uh, yeah, no, nah, I think it's done. We've just done, we've done way too much damage in too, too short of a time. Unless he double heals. Another one. Yeah, you, uh, you scummy. Nothing wrong with double healing. It's just that uh, you know, it's very uh, sad to uh, be on the receiving end of a double heal after all the damage that you do. <laughs> oh man. Uh, this is the more powerful AoE, right? Yeah, it is. Okay. We go again. So, yeah, our damage is cut by quite a bit because we lost Lilia. But I think we should kill the Meliodas, right? Yeah. Let's see who he decides to go for. I think he has to go for Meliodas. He's probably uh, worried about that ultimate. Let's see, though. I might be wrong. He might just kill my Dian. Let's see. <clears throat> yeah, he does go for Meliodas. He got the Fate Link. Meliodas dead. That's one thing I don't do. I don't give uh, Escanor the Fate Link when it comes to Pierce Rate Team. Because Meliodas can really benefit from that uh, Witch Bullet. What's it called again? The, um, I forgot what you call it, man. The crit chance from his fate link. Alright, if we can kill... Oh, I don't think we can. God damn it. I was going to say, if we killed Lilia right there, that would have been a GG. I would have uh, ended the other two with the ultimate, but... We did not get the ultimate. Feels bad. Yep, yeah, he's going to reduce my gauge and we are going to lose this one. Yep, yeah, unfortunate. Oh, I'm not going to lose total faith, actually. Or am I? Am I a beaten man? 225, 150. Am I a beaten man just yet? Let's find out. King, please do some damage. Ugh, not enough, sadly. 
Not enough, I don't think. Oh, so close, my guy. So, so, so close. That is unfortunate. That is unfortunate. Eskino had nothing left, man. He had literally had nothing left. Are you gonna... Wow, you are... <laughs> Uh, crafty guy, I'll give you that, man. I'll give you that. You are quite, you are quite the crafty guy. But I think he's just lost the game because he's done that. Wow, huge, huge, huge misplay from him. He just lost the game. Uh, actually, I don't think he could have done anything better, to be completely honest. I think uh, we just got him to a point where he was so deadlocked that, regardless what he did, it was gonna be a uh, GG. So yeah, very. Uh, that, that, that was a really uh, weird turn of events at the end there. But we do get the W. We do get the W. Deanne, man. Oof. She's really good, man. Really, really good. And uh, he dies due to the explosion. That's uh, quite hilarious. But yeah, man. Even that game. Still impressed with Deanne. Obviously, that tiny little bit of HP that he had left. Uh, you know, a bit unfortunate. One crit and he would have died. But yeah. Anyway, let's go to the next game. All right. Next game up with Deanne. We have, ooh. Esther Rosa Ult Team. Very dangerous. Very dangerous. Alright, alright, alright. Uh, oh, he, he has no Red King. That's, uh, you know, that's a given. So, let's just uh, start putting in some work. Ooh, nice. Good, good, good. Turn 1. All the units are already on half HP or less. We can make a... We, we've got a cleanse, so we can make some more plays here. Look at you, merging for Esther Rosa. And going for Lilia. Uh, what do I... What play do I want to make here? I mean, I kind of have to reduce his gauge. Uh, like, uh, that's just a... Uh, you know, I just, I just have to. Sadly, if I had a level 2 of this, we could... Uh, you know, remove that stance, but we do not. Actually, it might have been a dumb decision to uh, not heal up. Ouch. So close. So close. He's going to pull off a level 3 king heal. I just know it. <laughs> I just know it. <laughs> oh, man. He's going to get a big, thick heal from king. Please don't. He is. He, 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 he really is. No, he's not. Thanks for that, bro. Much, much, much appreciated. I think he's just won me the game. Thank you, my guy. I think he, he's actually just won me the game. That's hilarious. Actually, no, I think he was deadlocked as well. I don't see what he could have done differently, to be completely honest. Uh, maybe he could have made a different play, I don't know. But uh, Lilia surviving that little uh, attack from Gotho, that was so clutch. And that was because Deanne was debuffed, right? So Lilia did just get that tiny extra bit of defense, extra bit of resistance. So, yeah. Esther Rosa doing Esther Rosa things, but we don't care. We don't care. We're gonna use that debuff. Use that debuff because I might as well and just move this. Yeah, boy. Bro, Deanne is so good. She's actually so good. I love it. I absolutely love it. Can you put up a stance so I can remove it, please? Oh, wait. No, never mind. I don't have the, uh, the one that removes stance. It feels bad. But do you know what we do have, though? We have this giant big ultimate we are missing 60 percent though because she's not 6-6 six, six. but we'll do this hopefully that gets rid of esther rosa i mean it should he's only on basically you know half hp 55 percent and then we're gonna hit him right afterwards bam Ooh, lovely stuff lovely lovely stuff oh man she might be my new favorite unit to use in the pierce rate team the uh the tertiary unit Jesus Christ. 
lovely stuff from Deanne, man. Love the... <laughs> Bro, I did not think she's this good, honestly. But uh, yeah, man, let's go to our final game of the day. All right, guys, final game of the day. Oh, we could not go without fighting Mono Red, could we? <laughs> we could not go without fighting them. Feels bad, man. Feels bad. All right, rule player. What's he? What's he using? Uh, ten thousand. Is he doubling up on HP food? I really don't know. But uh, let's just get some attacks going. All right, so he has Red King. Feels bad. Oh yeah, we're not gonna do well here. Oh, she's doing no damage. Oh, this hurts. This is painful, yeah. He was bad, man. Let's see if he gets the buff. He does not get the buff. Or maybe... <clears throat> yeah, he... Yeah, yeah, okay. So he's stalling out another turn. Understandable. Let's keep going. Let's keep going. Maybe we can get lucky. He doesn't get the buff and we do enough to kill his two units. So it's basically Eskinor trying a solo job. Ah, oh, this is... Yeah, man, this isn't good. Oh, okay, so he got a double. Oh, no, he just locked my entire hand. And he got the buff. Wow. Yeah, we we yeah we've lost this one. That's tough, man. That's tough. That is most certainly rough. Uh, I guess I'll use. I don't want to use the heal just yet. Oh, I mean, I guess I should have, man. He's gonna lock my healing skills for two turns. But yeah, no, you know, it's not like a... I don't think we... I didn't think we was going to win anyway. Because, uh, you know, just uh, just because of the way Mono Red is against this team. He has Red King, so, you know, our, my Meliodas isn't going to do as much damage. But then I have Green Dian, right? An AoE unit who is at a type disadvantage with Red King on top. Yeah, uh, there was no way we could have uh, won this. Jesus Christ. <laughs> we just got wrecked. Goes for Lilia, kills Lilia. Oh man, this is uh, this is painful. Ah, uh. we'll do this. Sixteen point two k across three units. Oh man. <laughs> oh mono red. Hate mono red. Oh well, I mean. It doesn't matter, man. Mono Red is just one team comp. You can't have a you can't have a team that counters everything. It's just impossible. You know, you just simply cannot have a team that deals with all the uh, the meta teams. But we we we, we uh, dealt with pace rate teams really easily, so you know that's uh, that's fine. Deanne is a good unit, just uh, not good against Mono Red, which is fine because there isn't a single green unit that can uh, look good against Mono Red. Even Green Eskinol. Green Eskinol gets uh, destroyed. Yeah, just, there's just nothing I can do. Unfortunate. But yeah. Anyway, guys. I hope you enjoyed this showcase because I certainly did. Deanne really, really impressed me. Considering I never used her ever. To see uh, what she can do in a team like Pierce Ray is uh, very nice. I bet she'd work equally as good in, um, in an alt team. She might even be really good in top 100 PvP right now, man, because she removes stances. And uh, right now in top 100, it's all about stances. So, uh, you know, I'll have a think about what I can do with her. But uh, in general, very, very pleased with her. It was, uh, it was such a surprise, honestly. She's a, a hidden gem. I've never fought her in PvP ever in JP or Global. So, yeah, man, very good discovery right there. Anyway, guys, thank you very much for watching. Leave a like on the video if you enjoyed it, subscribe if you're new, and I will speak to you in my next one. Take care.